So folks, what I have for you is absolutely fantastic, and it might be one of the best examples yet, certainly recently, of someone getting well-deserved, frankly, gourmet revenge on Donald Trump. Gourmet revenge for what Donald Trump did to them. Remember Cassidy? She went out there. She told the truth. Trump and everyone called her a liar, and they called her even worse than that, and they put her at risk, and nonetheless, she knew all of that was going to happen she went out and did the right thing and so for so long they've been calling her a liar but yesterday a bombshell story dropped that changed everything and confirms that not only was she right that the evidence against Donald Trump and his violent anger is even stronger than before I'm gonna play you two clips one of them's a bit longer but we need to watch the whole thing to get the full absolutely glorious context but the first is Donald Trump just yesterday, hours before the story broke, insulting Cassidy yet again, and then the truth comes out under oath, crushing Donnie one more time. It should never have been allowed to happen. There's no cross-examination. This psycho girl got up, and she goes that I attacked Secret Service agents <laughs> from behind. Right. I grabbed the steering wheel of a car. I get along with these guys so well, and they were great to say it never happened. And it never happened. It's a source telling CNN that a Washington police officer has corroborated details regarding the heated exchange that former President Trump had with his Secret Service detail when he was told he could not go to the U.S. Capitol and march uh, with, with the rioters after his rally. According to the source, the officer who was there, who was in the motorcade, not secondhand, firsthand, officer was there, has recounted what he saw to the January 6th Select Committee. Now, you may remember, right, we first heard that this was a heated exchange, that Trump wanted to go, and, and, and his details said, no, you can't. We heard about that from Cassidy Hutchinson, an aide to former Trump White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Well, that's right, Aaron. You know, this was uh, explosive t testimony from uh, Cassidy Hutchinson, who was relating a story that she said uh, she had gotten from Tony Ornato, who was a deputy uh, chief of staff uh, at the White House. She said she had heard this story, and obviously there were others who have come forward and said they heard a similar account. The importance of this is that you have a, a Metropolitan Police officer here in Washington who was part of the motorcade, who is telling the committee uh, in, a, in an interview that uh, they can, that this person can corroborate at least some of what Cassidy Hutchinson uh, was mm -hmm. saying, which was this incredible uh, scene of, of an altercation, really, between the President of the United States reaching for the steering wheel, trying to essentially get the motorcade, uh, the, 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 um, the, the limo, to go towards the Capitol, and, and even going forward uh, to lunging uh, towards uh, the Secret Service agent that protects him, the lead agent who protects the president. So we don't know exactly what this, uh, this uh, Metropolitan Police officer has told the committee, but we know that at least in part, uh, we know that uh, that he is this person has corroborated some of what Cassidy Hutchinson said, and, and obviously this only increases uh, the scrutiny from this committee on what exactly uh, the Secret Service uh, can tell uh, about what happened in on, on that day, that key day, obviously. So, Evan, in that context, right, that you have a Metropolitan Police officer corroborating some of these, you know, very important deal, this, this heated altercation, as you referred to. So, guys, that's all you need to hear. He's calling her like a psycho girl. He's calling her all of these awful, terrible, demeaning, insulting things. And then yet the story comes out. And it's frankly even better than Cassidy's because at first she said it. And then some people oh, off the record, on, not under oath, confirmed some of the details. But all of that so far was in formal and second and or third hand. That's what Cassidy's story was. And she never said otherwise. She said it was under oath, but she never said she saw the incident herself. But now an officer just came forward and confirmed that Donald Trump is a sick, violent maniac. She won he lost. I know it's not justice yet, but this is a bit of a re revenge for the young woman, and I'm glad she got it. 